Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. I have many DVDs at home and I wanted those DVDs to back up on my computer so I can watch them whenever I want without having the DVD at home physically. For that I found a solution by using WinX DVD Reaper Platinum. In order to download and install it you just follow the link that I have on the description below and then you will be able to use all the functions to back up your DVDs on your computer. I will walk you through what exactly you can do with this tool to fix this problem with many DVDs that we have it in our home. All right, so here it is the WinX DVD Reaver Platinum. There are many functions and many features that you can use for this tool, but you can find different functions and features that I have explained in other videos. Please find those links on the description below. Once you have opened the WinX DVD Reaver Platinum, you click over disk and then you just have to select the source DVD disk, which in this case, all right, is this one. And then I press over OK and then it will load the disk from the DVD player. All right, so here it is. Now we have the possibility to use the output profile. So we want this DVD to be converted on different kind of output profiles. I'm just gonna focus now, like I said, on DVD backup profile, which is this one here. So here you have different profiles which you can use to backup your DVDs on your computer. One of those is the clone DVD to ISO image. This is really very good and you can use anytime that you want those playable DVDs on your computer and you can play those with VLC player and easy burn those to DVD disk if you want this to happen at a certain moment. So basically I'm gonna show to you how you can clone the DVD to ISO image. So I'm gonna choose the, this option and then I'm gonna click over OK. And once you have done that, in, then you have to specify the destination folder. I'm gonna keep the default one but you easily can change by clicking over browse and then we can select different titles that we want to clone to ISO image and once I'm done with all those settings that are showing over here we click over run and then the process of converting this file to ISO will start. The destination name will remain the same and as you can see it is showing the file .iso. We're gonna meet at the end once the conversion to ISO file is over. All right, so here we are. Let's browse to the location where we have the file extracted. Here it is the ISO file that we have just created. And in order to open, we just click with the right of the mouse over there. And then we choose open with VLC media player. Normally, this is the one that should be able to run ISO files. And you just have one file and everything is inside of it and you don't have to keep your DVD anymore, but just open it on your computer and you run that. So here it is, we click over, open with VLC Media Player. So here it is, it has started running. I don't wanna keep running this too long because of the copyright issues, but basically, as you can see, it will start running the files one by one as it is on the DVD player. So it's introducing first the first part of the movie and then it will move forward with the other part. But basically that's all that you have to do in order to convert or to clone the DVD to ISO image. And the video will still be with the same quality like it was on the DVD disc. And you don't have to keep now anymore the DVD disc. All right, so I wanna show you more functions that you can use in order to back up your DVD files on your computer so let's go over there once again we click over dvd backup and as you can see here there is the possibility to back up your dvd with selected audio and video tracks as a single mpg video file you have also the possibility to do a full title copy backup full title including all audios videos and subtitles you have also the last one clone dvd to folder this is the one that will clone the full DVD to your computer. I prefer this one, this is really good in order to back up the DVD disc to your computer. Another function that I wanted to show to the DVD Reaper is backup full title to MKV, which actually it's not supported on the Windows version, but if you have a Mac, then you will have this possibility to convert or to backup the DVD disc to MKV. But if you wanna have the MKV version is quite simple. You just go over the ISO file and then over here you just rename it by changing the extension. Don't leave it .iso but just make this .mkv and then 
practically that's all that you have to do in order to convert that ISO file to MKV. So this is how it is and it is just changing the extension without going through the hustle. I'll put on the description below this link where it shows more detail and guideline how to do all these things that I just showed to you guys on this video. Before we finish this video, I want to show to you guys that DVD Platinum is offering a discount. So just please follow the links that I have on the description so you get a very good price from the links that I have over there. That's all that I want to share with you guys today. Thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. All the best. Thank you.